them cushions. Oh, round one. Ding, ding. <laughs> it's like Big Brother, this. Betty, would you please come to the diary room? We want to discuss your problem with that cushion. <laughs> She's had to wait dust her again. That's my girl. She'll not leave unless I tell she's focused. She's very close. She's very thorough. I get out of the way when she's polishing. I don't want to get rubbed up wrong way. Shouldn't she be getting off to work? Yeah, we'll have to turn it off soon. Oh, and remember, this ain't just a secret we're keeping from Betty. There's Edna and all. She's told me to turn it off twice already. My life will be hell if she sees it back on again. Victoria! Sorry. She didn't mean it, you idiot. Yeah, well, I'm trying to revise here. Some of us want more than just a job on a farm, you know. Yeah, I'd rather work on land than be stuck in some office. Yeah, well, farm work's not easy to come by, you know. You're living in a fantasy world. That time you woke up and you've got your family to think of now, aren't you? I'm going Donners. More chance of getting a bit of revision done there. Yeah, all right. Ah, I didn't even flinch. You will. Hey, hey, pair of you. Come on, Victoria, we've got to get off. Go yeah, go on, hurry up. You're gonna be late. Once you get kids, you never get anywhere on time. And that's the least of it. Len! Edna! My, you're looking rubbish in this morning. Oh, don't start that. <laughs> Look, I'm glad I bumped into you. What's this? It's what I owe you for the brooch. I wanted to thank you for being patient. Edna. I'm very grateful. Don't be silly. And anyway, are we getting along with this cute little lady? Oh, Toots is a pleasant dog, and we're starting to get used to one another's little ways and habits. Ah, that's lovely. I still miss Batley, but Toots is helping me through it. Well, animals can be a great comfort, and we can all use a bit of that sometimes. You know that. That's the most intelligent thing I've heard you say yet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, hiya. Have you had anything from Zoe? I'm going to visit her later. I'm not looking forward to it. I've had nothing else on my mind since I left her there. Well, you never know. She might be feeling better already. Well, it, we did the right thing, you know. It's just... Being a vicar, you're privy to all kinds of human crises, but when it's one of your friends, when they need help, you keep wondering if you're doing the right thing. Well, I know what you mean, but we couldn't let her carry on as she was, could we? Well, it's completely out of our hands now. Just remember what it was like when you were her age. Morning, love. I've uh, I brought your French book over. Thanks. But that's my old one, Dad. Well, you never know. You might need it to revise from or something. Yeah. Look, I'm going to be late. I'll see you later. Bye, Dad. Bye, love. Have a good day, pet. See you tonight. This is just plain stupid. How did we end up here? She should be back home with me, moaning about her schoolwork and worrying about her flaming makeup. Not all this. I know. Life's got a way of creeping up on you and whacking you over the head. Yeah, tell me about it. I thought I was doing a decent job. I've obviously gone wrong somewhere. I almost wish her mother was here. It's nothing you've done wrong, Brian. Being a parent's an impossible task. I mean, why Katie? Why me? As if we hadn't had enough to contend with lately. Marriage breakup, lost me business, the old Miss Strickland thing. I feel like a cosmic joke. Nobody's laughing. Look, if you need somebody to talk to... Ah, you're doing enough looking after Katie. You don't need me crying on your shoulder and all. You can talk to me any time. I'm always around. Aye, oh, thanks. I should get to work. Knowing my luck, I'm liable to get the sack if I'm late. <laughs> you can never have too many tea breaks. You're such a slacker. Donna, I'm going to ring the studio, see if they can fit you in today. We're revising. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, modelling can wait. Besides, I thought you'd have learnt your lesson from when you did it. You did modelling, Viv? Only from the neck down. Bob, back me up, will you? There's loads of girls falling over themselves to become models. She gets it thrust in her lap and she's not interested. You can't force a sweet pea. Exams come first, sorry. Do you want testing without? Well, you can help me with my English, if you like. We'll do them at Beth. All right. Yeah. Hey, Donna, is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> Little word, love. But can you get Mum off my back? <sighs> Look, you know what your Mum's like when she gets an idea in her head. There'll be no rest for any of us. Is that why don't you ever think about maybe humouring her for a bit? You know, go and see this bloke, maybe for an hour or so. If you don't like it, fair enough. I suppose anything for a quiet life. Yeah. If only I was her age. 
morning, Betty Edna. Morning. Biff, uh, uh, ladies, how are we both? Well, I'm fine, but Betty here isn't. Nah, I'm not myself. I'm not myself at all. Have you got any pickled onions? I've got this strong urge for pickled onions, and I only get that when I've run myself down. You know, I hardly slept last night. Must be all those candlelit dinners you and Seth are having. Yeah. Hmm. I could do with one of those myself. You are? Oh, uh, you're Seth. The, uh, he mentioned it earlier. I, I was asking his advice about how you two managed to stay so much in love. Oh, well, it's quite simple, really. He's always kind and considerate. And I've always had this thing about fellas that can grow a fine tash. Oh, and if you was wanting any advice on relationships, I'd ask your wife. She's had enough. That's very true. You couple of old... Now, Viv. Well, did you hear that? I'm sure the ladies meant no offence. I know what I'd like to do with these pickled onions. One at a time, I hope, Viv. Hey, come in, Edna. In a minute. So, you were asking Seth about candlelit dinners, were you? Yes. You often turn to Seth for advice. The man is a sage, an oracle. He has never steered me wrong. Wise beyond his years, is Seth. So it's now tomorrow at 10. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You don't have to cancel all your meetings today. Don't know how long we're going to be at the clinic. I feel like we should be there now. Well, look, I've got to make a few more phone calls. And I don't mean to sound awful, but it's not like she's going anywhere. And you fretting over Zoe like this isn't going to help. I just want some answers. I know, but they might not have any yet. They probably want to observe her for a while. I think that's what usually happens. Well, we must be developing some idea. The quicker we know what we're dealing with, the quicker we'll be able to help her. And she'll be able to help herself. And us waiting a few more hours isn't going to make much difference. She's being well looked after. She better be. And maybe they will have some answers, but either way, you can't tie yourself up in knots. So we won't want that, would she? I'm late, I know. Don't worry about it. How is she? Still at the flaming pub. Still not listing 20 cents. Still pregnant. Yeah, well, Andy's just as stubborn. Throwing away his exams without a care. Yeah, well, my daughter's thrown away her whole life without a care. Do you know how sorry I am they ever met? Well, we won't get anywhere shouting at one another. It's done now. We just have to deal with it. Any suggestions out? Zoe? Can I join you? Sit down, please. How are you? I'm fine. How are you getting along? I'm just waiting until they say I can go home. I'm... I'm feeling OK. I'm sure we will be able to work this out. Do you know what I need to work out? Sorry? Have you noticed something? No, what? The nurses and the doctors all wear casual clothes. You... you can't tell whose staff and whose patients. Really? There are no people wearing white coats. Anybody coming in now might think that you were a patient. It's to make you feel more relaxed, I expect. I'm not going to be in here much longer. No, I'm sure. I'm not the same as the other people in here. So, Sorry, time for your medication. Oh. I don't really need to take these. I, I'm just taking them to keep everyone happy. I don't want to seem awkward. Well done. I just can't wait to get home. He's got a slot. Let's get over there. Now? Yes, no time to mess about. Go and clean your teeth. Need to see your pearly whites. Well, it's not a dentist, is it? 
Donna, please, make an effort. I'll catch up with you later. Right, we're just popping out to the studio. Could you hold the fort? No problem. I think I'll go and freshen up on my own makeup. You know, time, Chloe? Me, I can set my watch by you. Your usual, sir? Am I that predictable? Oh, it's a very endearing quality. <laughs> I know of. You didn't pay for that. Eh? That sandwich. How come you didn't pay for it? Ah, well, oh, well. Chloe, you didn't charge him. Ah, uh, it's um, company policy, Seth eats for free. For free? Why on earth would you feed him for free? <laughs> hey, I'm just the underling. It's all above my head. You'd have to consult the management. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just deciding what to take on my holiday. Holiday? Ah, to the charms of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Beckham once more. Do you want to drink this or wear it? <laughs> Actually, I'm joining Bernice on the cruise ship. Taking Gabby too. Oh. Uh, why wasn't I invited? You and me on a cruise ship. I'd be praying for an iceberg. Besides, it's Bernice's birthday present to me. We're going on holiday, Dan. I am, pet. I was going to tell you about Don't it. be daft. A cruise, did you say? I've always fancied one of them. I've seen myself in the card room with an old Rietburn looking like on my arm. Oh, well. If it's fantasy on the high seas we're talking, I'll fancy myself at the captain's table with the first officer who has the look of Russell Crowe. Oh, I, <clears throat> I'm supposed to be jealous, am I? Oh, no. Knowing my luck, I'll be pacing the poop deck all on my lonesome, wishing I was back here with you. Oh, you're going to miss me, Dan. You wish. Hey, she's the one here, Rodney. You can say that again. Line us up a pint, love. <clears throat> from the flat. Oh, don't be silly, Donna. And I've got face it and smiling too much. This time next year, you'll be on a catwalk in Milan. Just think of that. Mum, let's just wait to see how the pictures turn out before I start booking tickets to Italy. Oh. Where have you been? Been modelling. She's a natural. Camera never lies. What was it like? Just took a few test shots. Is it fun? Great. Apart from my mum butting in. What did the photographer say? He says I've got a lot of potential. Is that before or after you've the lens? Did you enjoy it? You loved it! Look at her! <laughs> oh, come on, Donna. Smile for me, baby. <laughs> well, don't mention it to my mum, but I quite fancy this now. It's jealous as hell. But it's working for a living. Just imagine, if you hadn't pulled out of the parade, kids, you haven't have had this chance at all. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't think much of supermodels, me. Yeah, right. If Naomi Campbell came walking down that street, we'd have to put up scaffolding to keep your gob shut. <laughs> as if. I've got Katie. How are things going with you two? You still at the pub? Yeah. I mean, it's handy with start craving pork scratchings, eh? Oh, once touch them if I were you, they'll go straight on your hips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I've got to do in here is watch the television. That's what you need, though, isn't it, Zoe? Complete break from everything. I like the children's programmes. I think about all the kids watching. Zoe. He can't help it, it's the drugs. Do you th Can we please just turn this down, just for a second? It's good at this volume. I just wanted to say... Yes, I know. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. That's fantastic. What did the doctors say? Nothing. Well, they must have said something. I'll be home soon. I will. Mr. Grimes was on holiday by the sea. Edna, oh, where's the fire? I need to speak to you. Oh, Edna, I've got to get back to work. I'm losing wages here. Better you can't go home. Hey. There's a camera in your front room. Look, it records everything you do, and it broadcasts <laughs> it on the internet. Oh, I pull the other one, Edna. The whole village has been watching you for weeks. Everybody knows about it. Uh, thank you, Edna. I'll just call an ambulance now. You may have to go away for a short while. I am not joking, woman. Your Seth has set you up. Have you been reading them books again? 
What books? Oh, there's no conspiracy, Edna. There's no New World Order and no lizard people. And my front room is definitely not on the internet. I mean, why the heck would anyone want to watch me doing my cleaning? They'll watch anything. Oh, thanks, Edna. I'm going back to work, love. You better go and have a lie down. No, Betty. Betty. I am telling you the truth. Yeah, I'm sure you think you are. No, if you don't believe me, come to the cafe now. They all watch you in there. Rubbish. I'll show you. Eh? Look, it is for your own good. Come on. Oh, the things I do to keep you happy. So I'll be getting me hula hula skirt out. I'm sorry. Oh, haven't you spoken to Bernice? I've been on visits all day. Is something wrong? No, everything's fine. It's just... Oh, sorry. Bernice has invited me and Gabby on a cruise for my birthday and she said she was going to talk to you about it first. Thanks. Uh, I see. It would have been good to have some sort of warning. Be a nice little rest for you. Yes, that'll be lovely. But... It's just I've got her into a routine and Gabby on a cruise ship in a different climate. Um, I wouldn't want her to be upset. Oh, she'll be fine. I'll make sure of that. And it'll give Gabby and Bernice some quality time together. You can't deny either of them that. Thanks, Bob. Uh, yes, I suppose. Um, I'll try and call Bernice as soon as I get home. Cheers, Ashley. What's up? Nothing, it's just... Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. How is Zoe? She seems more relaxed, but I think that's to do with the medication they put her on. And did the doctor say anything? Uh, she's still waiting to see them. She expects to be home soon, but I don't suppose that'll be happening just yet. You should go and visit her. She'll be glad to see you. Uh, it, it would ease her mind even more to know that you're coping. Yeah, well... What? I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm rushed without her, and it, it's, it's finding the time and, um... Yes? What was the place like? It's a clinic. They're very much the same. The nurses are very pleasant. And what about the... Other patients? Didn't really notice them, wife. No, I really don't like the idea of even being in there. Just the thought of visiting someone like that sort of freaks me out a little bit. We all have our little quirks, Paddy, but I know you'll overcome yours to support Zoe. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Edna! Edna, slow down! <gasps> this is balmy. Just you wait. You have been renting too many of them horror videos. It can have that effect on people, they say. Oh, and you are living proof of it. Cos you're diddled, woman. She's really ill. Well, if she's that bad, maybe she should just go to an hospital or something. Oh, God. How's Chris taking it? He's beside himself. I mean, despite everything that's happened, they're really close. I can see that now more than ever. It's like his other half's been taken away or something. Poor Zoe. It's awful, this kind of thing, isn't it? I just hope that whatever happened between me and her has got nothing to do with this. Oh, you can't blame any of this on that. Maybe. Listen, don't breathe a word to anyone, right? If anyone asks, she went to a visit a health spa. Don't worry. Just hope she gets better. Yeah, well, so do I. For Chris's sake, more than anybody's. Listen, I best get going. I just came for a breather. The atmosphere in that house, Chloe, I swear, will all be on antidepressants. Is this all you do all day? I've just come back in. Yeah, right. And we've just gone through the entire French syllabus. I can speak French. Well, how much does the lever need, anyway? Go on, then. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? <laughs> Only problem is you won't understand the answer, unless that's in the charts as well. Hey, I've just seen Betty heading this way and Edna's with her. <sighs> Betty and Edna live and uncut. <laughs> <laughs> About time to. <laughs> Go on, then. Go on. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Look, I'm doing this as a friend. You need to see what Seth's done to you. But Seth wouldn't do a thing like this. I mean, why would he want to? I don't know, but he has. Just go in and oh. see. Oh. You know... No, 
if he has been filming me, I wouldn't know what to do, Edna. So it's a bit in Edna we're going to be back. Should be home by now. Maybe they've gone into the wolf pack. Now, Betty, what? What can I get you? Have, um... Have any of you seen my Seth? Seth, um... No, no, not since dinner time. Right. OK. <laughs> you saw it? How could he? I don't know. They've been watching me. Yes, but not just them, the whole world. <gasps> what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I can't think. How could he? She'd have to be blind not to have seen something. Well, she didn't say anything. I hope she didn't for Seth's sake. Betty will string him up and the rest. Nah, she definitely didn't say anything. I just feel so humiliated. What have they seen? Oh, I'm a laughing stock. Why has he done this to me? We'll take a rolling pin to that computer. And to him, for that matter. Oh, he's done stupid things before and he's always been thoughtless, but... I just can't comprehend this. You come home with me. You'll not go back in there until he gets rid of that damn thing. No, no, no. Betty, you've had a nasty shock. No, I need, I need to go home. I, I need to think. It's not right. It's not Betty. right. No. Betty, are you sure you're going to be all right? No, no, no. I need to be on my own. I need to think. I need to work out if I can ever face this village again. I need to think how I can stay with a man that would be so cruel as to do this to 